my father, my mother, and my brother are buried. My dad, my teachers, no one ever looked at me and said, you can't do that. So I grew up with this dream of becoming a military aviator. My dad used to take me to airfields on the weekend and watch airplanes land. And then all the way through high school. And when I was in high school, all the rules started to change. They started to accept women in the military as aviators. A pretty historic moment for me personally is when the U.S. Army became the first military service to drop the height requirement of 5.4 <laughs> and go to anthropometric measurements. And I was the first one to get in under that. Um, so I was uh, exceptionally blessed to, to realize my dream. And kids ask me all the time, you know, I want to be an astronaut. You know, what, what's that path look like? And what I tell them is pursue something that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about it, you're going to give it your all, you're going to put 100% into it. And if on that journey, for whatever reason, life changes and you never exceed that ultimate goal, you're still going to have a very successful and enjoyable career. When I was a second lieutenant in the United States Army, a colonel walked in and one of the things he asked us the first day, and he went around the room and he said, Lieutenant, tell me your definition of a successful career. Luckily, I kind of went near the end of the pack, and many people, as you might suspect, said, I want to become a general officer. I want to become a brigade commander or a group commander. And I had enough time to think about it that when it came to me, my response was, and still is, I want to feel like I spent a career where I gave something back to society, and in the end, I had family and friends who loved me. And I have been so incredibly blessed throughout my career to have this incredible support of not only the Troy community, the Ohio State University community, but also of my family and friends. So to my husband, Tim, to my granddaughter, Coco, to my daughter, Stephanie, who's unable to be here throughout my entire life, you've supported me, you've supported my goals, to mom and dad. Uh, for those of you that knew him, my dad would have been front and center telling everybody who I was <laughs> before you ever had a chance to sit down. Um, I. I have to say, in all humbleness, my dad was my biggest fan, I think, and my dad was also my inspiration for the aviation career. I was incredibly blessed to have him as a father, and incredibly blessed to be from the great city of Troy, Ohio. So to the city of Troy, to the Acorn Society, to Bill, to Mike, uh, for your incredible work. I thank you.